Hey everyone, this is LP, back for another unshrink wrapping and unboxing. This time I have In Pursuit of Greed, which is a game I had never heard of. Um, this is a 1996 3D ray casting, so not really 3D, um, first person shooter uh, in the mold of, you know, Doom, Duke Nukem 3D, etc. Um, developed by a development studio I've never heard of called Mindshare Software. It, um, it was published by Softdisk Publishing, and actually the reason I even own this is because uh, other big box PC game collectors put me on to an eBay seller who basically cleared out um, Softdisk's old stock and at the time of recording this video had a bunch of these on eBay. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but it wasn't much, it was like 20 bucks. Um, and it looks to be a pretty original seal. Um, I mean, you never know for sure, but given he has so many of them, um, I'd imagine it's legit and there's nothing about it that looks sketchy. Uh, I'm pretty excited to open it up just because, you know, when you have these uh, new old stock um, uh, boxes, it feels like I'm really back in the 90s, which is really fun. Um, I, I also feel like the shrink is getting a little tight so we have some uh some warping happening at the front and so before we get any serious creasing i don't think we have any yet but maybe a little in this corner before that really starts uh putting the box in because it is kind of a cheap cardboard uh, i want to get the shrink off and free it so anyway in pursuit of greed um here's the box so as you can see it's uh it's a first person maybe you can see it's a first person doom like um, my understanding is there's nothing special about it. I looked it up on Moby Games, you know, I spoke to a couple of friends about it, uh, a couple of small differences that set it apart. Um, I think it has like 20 odd levels, maybe 22. The protagonist you play changes as you go through the game, but there's actually, I think you play this bipedal cow, for example. Um, but I don't, uh, at one point, but I don't think there's actually any difference between the different characters, you know, other than their aesthetic. Um, also, it, it it's excited to tell you right here that random ammunition, health item, and monster generators provide infinite replayability. So it sounds like the the level design itself is not randomly generated. You know, this is before roguelike shooters. Um, but they were pretty excited to tell you that they randomized the drops, you know, every time you played. Uh, other things it says, there are sloped ceilings, floors, and walls. There are high-resolution, fully rendered sprites, four in uppercase, times as many pixels, equivalent, pixels as equivalent games. Fully rendered and animated intro and cutscenes, which I'd imagine are hilarious. Um, five distinct characters to choose from. Oh. You get to choose them, each with their own individual characteristics and weapons. Now, that makes it sound really cool, but from the little I read online, there's virtually no difference between them in gameplay. Um, On-screen features such as the ASS cam rear view, yes, ASS, um, heat and motion sensors and rotating map, and there's a multiplayer mode that offers the opportunity for eight players to go at 10 network levels. Uh, deco uh, decoy clones, hollow suit, and serial modem play for head-to-head -head action. So, and there's some you know blur up blurb up here that I won't bore you with about the story, which I'm sure is amazingly pitiful and uh, go amazing. Um, anyway, so here's my trusty Swiss Army knife. There is um, a little damage uh, or splitting happening, so I'm going to use that. Um, oh, here we have the system requirements, I don't know if we can see those, probably not with the glare, but we will require a f uh, 480, well, a 486, sorry, 486, 33 megahertz IBM PC, or 100% compatible, two meg uh, eight megabytes of RAM, mouse driver, DOS 5.0 or better, 26 uh, megabytes, free hard drive space, and a two-speed CD-ROM, all right. So my old 486 wouldn't have been able to handle this because it only had a one-speed CD-ROM. So here we go, I'm gonna crack it open. And let's see if we can peel that. There we go. Be free, game, be free. 
Okay, there it is. Off comes the shrink and yeah, so no creasing, just some bowing. It's just pulling inward, but um, it already feels a little better being free. It's a nice shape, uh, yeah, size box. It's, you know, it's a one piece, which is, you know, the cheapest, easiest to manufacture, I think, but it's, a, it's kind of Euro size, even though it's a US um, box, it's kind of the same size as, a, as the games that came out in Europe, um, which I quite like. I don't need the massive oversized boxes like Bethesda used to do. Um, and let's see what's inside, shall we? Okay, we have uh, a manual. And it says, Hunter's Manual. So yes, you are the hunter, and these must be the different hunters. It looks like one, two, three, four, five. And it's black and white. Has, let's see, does it have any, has a little storyline, how to install the game, set up, all the good stuff. Primary objectives, different hardware in-game that you can use. Cool. Oh, look, there's a screenshot. That's an easy contrast screen sh screenshot for you to see. Yeah, I mean, it could be fun. I notoriously don't really, you know, I'm not a fan of <clears throat> a certain famous uh, four-letter first-person shooter that came out in the early 90s. Um, so I don't play many of these games, but I'll probably take this for a while at some point just because it looks ridiculous. Um, what else is in the box? Uh, maybe a registration card? We have... Soft disk product registration card. I would love to fill this in, send this back to you. I soft disk sadly are no more. And I think the last, the final piece is a sealed, and I'm not going to break this open, sealed. Uh, well, maybe I'll have to break it open to play it. That's a good point. I don't actually have another version of this to play, but I'm not going to do that right now. It doesn't look like there's a manual in there or anything. This looks like it's just a single sheet. So pretty boring sealed jewel case. And just so you all can see in the box we have, this is a little unusual. I don't know if I want to pull it out, but this is actually a polystyrene. Uh, it's actually, I think it might be glued in, a polystyrene CD or jewel case holder. It's a little damaged and it was pushing the, uh, the case out. So I might be able to fix that at some point, but that's, that's new to me. I haven't seen one of those. Anyway, so that's it. This is In Pursuit of Greed, a 1996 first-person shooter. Uh, you have been watching this on my... Uh, um, oh, sorry, not mine, but on the Big Box PC Gaming Collector's YouTube channel. And um, you can find us on Facebook, and you can find us on Twitter at BBPCGC, and you can follow me personally, LP, at Dancing Crab on Twitter, where... Um, I'm sharing various big box PC gaming tweets uh, throughout the week. Okay, well, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you all later. Peace.